Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here, from what is given here, which is 8 raised to power x plus 8 raised to power 1 minus x equals to 10. Here, when we apply the law of indices, a raised to power m minus n, same thing as a raised to power m divided by a raised to power n. That is, from what we have here, we can write this and we have a raised to power x plus a raised to power 1, then over a raised to power x equals to 10 on this side. Then next step from here, we can bring this together as one from here, and the SCM here is 8 raised to power x. Then one goes in 8 raised to power x as t raised to 8 raised to power x, 10 times 8 raised to power x here. So we have 8 raised to power x times 8 raised to power x, then plus 8 raised to power x goes in 8 raised to power x, that's 1. 1 times 8 raised to power 1, that's t hit then equals to 10 from here. That is here, this multiply, and we have 8 raised to power x square from here. When same number multiply, like a times a, that will be a square. Then plus 8 from here, then divided by 8 raised to power x, which is then equals to 10 on this side. Then here, this is 10 over 1, and when we cross multiply, we have this t remain 8 raised to power x, then square plus 8, then equals to here, we multiply this, and we have 10 multiplied by 8 raised to power x. Then from what we have here, we have a raised to power x common. Let a letter represent that. So let m be equals to a raised to power x. At this here, we can write this as m square plus 8 equals to 10 m from here. Then here, let's bring 10 m to this side and rearrange. And we have m square minus 10 m plus 8 then equals to 0 from here then from here from this quadratic equation we have a equals to 1 e equals to minus 10 and c equals to 8 and from the formula here m will be equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac then over 2a and from here this gives us m equals to minus minus 10 then plus or minus square root of minus 10 square and minus 4 times 1 times 8 then divided by 2 times 1 and from what we have there this becomes m equals to minus times minus plus as plus 10 then plus or minus square root of minus 100 minus 10 squared as 300 then minus 4 times 8 that's minus 32 then over 2 from here and here we have m equals to 10 plus or minus square root of 68 over 2. That is here we have m equals to 10 plus or minus square root of 4 times 17 here, then over 2. And here, since when we have root a times b, this can be written as root a times root b. And here we separate this as well. Then we have m now equals to 10 plus or minus root 4 
times root 17 then over 2 which implies that here we have m then equals to 10 plus or minus 2 root 17 over 2 that is here 2 is common here and we have m now equals to 2 into bracket 5 plus or minus root 17 over 2 that is from here 2 cancel each other here and we have m here equals to 5 plus or minus root 17 from here then we should recall that we let m to be equals to 8 raised to power hex that is here we have two values of m that is m equals to 5 plus root 17 or we have m equals to 5 minus root 17 which implies here that means 8 raised to power hex equals to 5 plus root 17 and also 8 raised to power hex here equals to 5 minus root 17 and here since this will be positive this also is positive then there is a resolution here also this side is positive and here too will be positive so now when we solve taking the log on both sides from here we have log a trace to power hex equals to log into brackets 5 plus root 17 from here and here also we apply the power law of log reading from log m raised to power p that can be written as p log m then it implies that here we can write this as x log 8 now equals to log 5 plus root 17 from here that is here to get x we can divide both sides by log 8 and also this side by log 8 that is log 8 we cancel each other and here we have x now equals to log into bracket 5 plus root 17 then over log 8 from here then from change of this when we have log a over log b this can be written as log a to base b that is here we have x now equals to log into bracket 5 plus root 17 then to base 8 from here then also on this side solving the same way and when we take the log on both sides again and we simplify so we have the result here instead of plus we are having minus and we have x now equals to log into brackets 5 minus root 17 then to base 8 so this here we have the value of x to this given a problem and thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more exciting videos and turn the notification bell on share this video give it a thumbs up and see you next class bye for now.